Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, The Mother Healer. And if you look behind me, it is raining, it is cool, it is fall, and it's beautiful. So um, today I want to start off a new series called Learning With Me, The Daily Five. So the reason for this is I watch a lot of great YouTube videos, but it does take a long time to sort through them to find something that's really, what I found really great. So, um, and a lot of time it takes um, a lot of time basically to watch them. So what I want to do is summarize a lot of those videos I have found helpful and in hopefully five minutes or less and give you guys the meat of it. And if you want to dive into it more, I have included the link in the description so you can learn uh, on your own, okay? Today what I want to share with you is um, Power Food for the Brain by Dr. Neil Bernard. And he did a TEDx uh, Bismarck talk on Alzheimer's disease prevention with food. So I found this very interesting because a lot of people think Alzheimer's disease come with old age and then now the study is showing that uh, if you have a gene called APOE Epsilon, then you are very uh, prone to have Alzheimer's disease and um, there's very little you can do with it except to slow down the progression. Um, Dr. Bernard was saying that we can actually do something about it in prevention by diet and lifestyle changes. So there are two things to reduce. Number one, of course, is the saturated fat and trans fat. Um, saturated fat happens uh, mostly in dairy products. That was a news to me. So most time we have the saturated fat in dairy products such as milk and cheese, and it also have uh, in high fat meats such as bacon and red meat. And trans fat, of course, we all know is in the junk food such as cookies and processed food. So he, did, he said there is a longitudinal study in the city of Chicago that shows people who consume 13 grams per day compared to people who consume 25 grams per day on saturated fat. And uh, those people who consume 13 grams a day, they reduce the risk for Alzheimer's disease by 70%, and that is huge. He also said there is a study in Finland over 21 years on 1,300 adults it showed that uh, people with actually the Alzheimer genes, the APOE Epsilon, um, when they put on a low saturated fat, fat diet, anything below 21 grams, their risk were cut down by 80% to develop into full-blown Alzheimer's. And also reduced, uh, for people with reduced mild cognitive impairment, for people such as, you know, people just forgetting things and to feel that uh, they are uh, have mental fogs, it actually improved uh, their mental cognition 2.5 times with a low saturated fat diet um, of below 21 grams. That's very easy to achieve. And number two is to reduce metals such as iron and copper in your diet. So Alzheimer's brain shows high beta amyloid protein as well as high in iron and copper. So iron and copper, once it gets to our body, start oxidizing and forming free radicals. So to reduce iron intake, you need to reduce cooking in cast iron or copper pans and do not drink water that's uh, been sitting in a copper pipe for a while. And uh, don't eat meat such as liver and that has higher iron content and you need to watch for too much iron or copper in your supplements, such as multivitamin. So there are three things to increase that helps us um, to reduce Alzheimer's disease or increase uh, brain, um, brain function. Number one is vitamin E, that is super important. Vitamin E is antioxidant and it contains in nuts, certain vegetables and fruits such as spinach and mango. And it is studied to show that a gram of vitamin E will reduce your Alzheimer's disease chance by 50%. And so a lot of people say, okay, I'm going to go out and buy a bottle of vitamin E and supplement. But um, the studies show that we have eight forms of vitamin E and supplements usually only contain one. So if you take this one form, it will reduce the absorption on the other seven. So the best way to get our vitamin E uh, intake is we have to have eight 
uh, milligrams per day and eight milligrams per day is one and a half ounces an ounce is basically palm side from the base of palm to the base of your fingertip that's five milligrams so have one and a half palm size of nuts will give you eight milligram of vitamin E and number two is eat food that's purple in color uh, food with purple in color has an antioxidant called anthocyanin and University of Cincinnati studies shows uh, older people, average 78, that's already have brain function impairment. When they were putting on drinking grape juice or blueberry juice twice a day, it improved their cognition by a great amount. So eat a diet consists of um, fruit, more fruit, vegetable, grains, legumes, such, uh, use legume as protein and eat more food with purple color like purple cabbage and you know anything purple <laughs> so last but not least it's exercise um, so University of Illinois shows that 40 minutes of walk brisk walk three times a day actually increase the hippocampus which is our brain uh, memory center and reverse brain shrinkage and that's for you know adults and old people with old age so uh, to summarize, to reduce your chance of having um, Alzheimer's disease, even if you have the Alzheimer's gene, APOE Epsilon, um, you can do something to control that. Two things to reduce is saturated fat, trans fat, and also metals such as iron and copper in your diet. Three things to increase, number one, vitamin E, number two, eat food with purple in color, number three, exercise. Thank you, wish you health and, and happiness. So um, if you like this, uh, please um, give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.